Hey y'all, I'm Maggie Joe Singer, and on behalf of the entire JCC of San Francisco, I'm welcoming you to our Nosh on This series. And tonight, what I'm gonna do is teach you how to make a really amazing whiskey sour to go along with the Varekas pie that our amazing uh, chef, um, Anat Admoni, is gonna teach us how to make. So the reason I'm doing this a whiskey sour is because I wanted something kind of tangy to go up against the richness of that Borekas pie. And it's Shavuot. And so we're celebrating the giving of Torah and the spring. And there's an association between the new lambs and all of the nourishment by way of milk that's happening at that time of year. So um, Enat is covering the milk part of our tradition. And I was thinking, what would go with that? And I thought, you know, what do we say? We say it's a land of milk and honey. So I decided to tweak the classic um, whiskey sour by bringing some honey in. So that's what we're dealing with right now, a land of honey. The land of honey, whiskey sour. All right, let's get into it. Um, first thing we're gonna need is a Boston shaker. So we've got one right here, the small side and the big side. We're gonna build our drink in the small side. We're going to start with a couple of shakes of Angostura bitters. These are very readily available. You gotta be able to find them at any major supermarket. You ought to have them someplace tucked away in like the special tasty things or over in a liquor section. And we're gonna give that like three good shakes. One, two, three. Three dashes, just like that. All right. The next thing we're gonna put in there is honey syrup. Honey syrup is super easy to make. It's just equal parts honey and hot water. You stir them until it's like a nice consistency like that. And we are going to put one half ounce of honey syrup right in there. All right, boom, 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 boom. Nice and plunk, there it goes. Half an ounce honey syrup. The next thing that's gonna go into our drink is some lemon juice. That's where the sour part comes in in a whiskey sour. Um, so I'm gonna take a very fresh, beautiful, Meyer lemon right here. You can use a Eureka lemon, any kind of lemon will do. I've got my Mexican style um, squeezer. Always remember you put it in this way, dome up. That's how you crush it and get all that nice juice. And I'm gonna need three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. So I'm just gonna squeeze that right in there. I think this lemon should be just about the perfect amount. Look at that. Get the other side in there. And yes, looking good. All right, three quarters of an ounce, perfect of that fresh lemon juice. And that's gonna go right in there on top of my bitters and my honey syrup. Last thing that's gonna go in there is a half an ounce of egg white. So you take uh, the an egg, crack it, um, separate the egg white from the yolk, take a knife, and do a few cuts in there so that it doesn't all come flying out in one big mucilinous glop. Um, this way you can measure it a lot easier. And there we go. We got a half an ounce of that beautiful, fresh, amazing, pasture-raised, groovy, awesome egg white in there. And I'm gonna take that mixture, um, pop the lid on here, and with no ice and no alcohol, I'm gonna shake the heck out of it. Really wanna give it a good shake. All right, because that's how we're gonna get, um, that's how we're gonna get our nice head of foam that's gonna look milky, but it's not gonna be. All right, now I'm gonna add two, two ounces of, in this case, I'm gonna use Irish whiskey. This is um, teeling, I like it. It's a nice, you know, solid Irish whiskey. You can use any kind of whiskey you like though. You can use bourbon, you could use rye, you could use Canadian whiskey, you can use Japanese whiskey. 
whatever whatever kind of whiskey you like, go for it. Um, but I like kind of a, the Irish whiskeys are, are kind of like a, they just have a little bit of everything in them. So they work really well for this. All right, so I've put that in here now, and now I'm gonna add some ice. I'm not gonna totally top it out with ice. I'm gonna use about, about a cup's worth of ice. Yeah, maybe a little more, maybe about a cup and a half, cup and a half. Perfect. All right then, now the real shake is gonna happen. All right, pop my bottom in there, and here we go. It's gonna be loud. So hang in there, folks. heart rate up and there we go now I've got a very beautiful uh, here we go kind of a fun shaped glass I usually go for really expensive glassware this is super cheap glassware but it's fun I really like this shape so I'm going to double strain so I've got a Hawthorne strainer here a spring po coil strainer I'm going to pop that in there. And I've got a little tea strainer, kind of kitchen, small kitchen strainer. And I'm going to strain that right into my glass. Mm-hmm. Oh, that looks good. Perfect. All right, we're going to give that just a second to separate. Let that froth come up to the top. And here is the final touch. I got myself some honeycomb, and that's my garnish. A little piece of skewered honeycomb. And I'm just gonna sit that right on the top like that. Oh my gosh, what a cute cocktail this is, amazing. So, there we go. Now the longer it sits, the, the longer it, uh, the more we're gonna get a nice white layer of foam on the top. And you know, the celebration of Shavuot is the celebration of the receiving of Torah. Torah, not unlike this cocktail, is all mixed up. It's got sourness, it's got sweetness. Some parts of it are intoxicating, some parts are nourishing. And over time, all of it separates and we are able to see layers and distinctions and hopefully it brings us more into alignment with those mixed up sour and sweet parts of ourself. So Chag Sameach, my friends, may it be a sweet and beautiful um, Shavuot for you. May you learn and may you teach and may we all get better for it. L'chaim. Mm. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being with us here today. Be well.